it's wing 42's long awaited Oblerio 11. This iconic flying machine I ventured across the channel on July 25, 1909. It was a flight from Calais to Dover and it took about 36 minutes. It was also the first international flight. So, um, yeah, we also have several liveries. Let me show you. Uh, Wing 42's factory livery. Yeah, Wing 42. Uh, this one we just saw. This looks like the French Army or French Air Force. Nice, those uh, bicycle wheels. Ah, German uh, German Air Force, Luftwaffe. Swiss Air Force. They are always neutral. And the Italian Air Force. The Tricolore. This is, uh, by the way, the Gnome Omega version. Uh, it has a more powerful engine than the uh, Anzani engine, but uh, yeah, to uh, to to learn to fly this aircraft, they they advise to start with this uh, Gnome engine. It's a little bit more power, and uh, later on we can try the uh, the Anzani one. But I can show you uh, deliveries first. Yeah, this is the uh, Anzani engine one. So it has uh, not that much power. Also a floating device. In case of a crash. In the channel maybe. Could be. And also... Old Rhinebeck version. I believe it's a flying museum uh, in the state of New York. And you see this uh, this skull. It means uh, that it is the rest in peace version. So it's uh, realistic as possible, but very difficult to fly. So we have to try that also later on. But first, uh, let's uh, take a look at the. Uh, the Gnome engine one, the rotary Gnome Omega engine. So let's uh, select that one and uh, try to start the engine. And there he is, Swing 42's Blario 11. It is, uh, yeah, a light wooden uh, framework with the bicycle wheels. As you can see, but it looks very authentic. Wow, looks really old. This plane use uses uh, wing warping instead of uh, ailerons. So if I turn left or right, you can see the wing moving. So that uh, could be interesting uh, when we want to make a turn. Alright, so uh, before we start the engine, let's uh, take a look at the manual and some historic documents. Uh, let's take a look at the simulation manual, the Sablerio. A lot of topics on uh, how to fly this aircraft. Also with, with nice pictures, historic pictures. Specifications, setting up your controller, also how to start different engine types.
and a lot of how to's how to fly how not to crash also historic routes to fly So yeah, they did a great job on this uh, manual. But we have more documentation. As you can see. A lot of background information and history. And this is the historic manual. It's all in French. What's super cool that is uh, included in this uh, package. So we can build uh, one on uh, scale one one. Uh, this documents perfectly reflect the atmosphere of the again 1900s so that's a very cool feature time to start this engine so let's hop inside and uh, see if we can manage that these wooden blocks are our brakes alright so we have to turn on our right tank left tank build up the fuel pressure should be okay another switch is on now let's hop outside this is our altimeter There we go. Right. Full power. Remove the blocks. Hop inside. We're gonna make it because there are a lot of trees. Oh, we are airborne. Oh, build up the speed a little bit and climb above the tree, above the trees. Yeah, here we go. Oh. 
now it's a little bit under the horizon. We have to use a lot of rudder to keep the airplane uh, from drifting. Oh, it's scary to fly. Uh, imagine that this is the powered version with a lot of power. 50 horsepower. But it looks really stunning. Let's try to turn. When this airplane is at speed, on speed, oh, it's okay. You have to be very careful with your control inputs. Now let's try to land. I believe we have to turn off our engine to lose altitude. Well, let's try that. And turn it on. Alright, that works. Let's hop inside. Turn. It's almost like a glider. So work the rudders a lot.
gear has failed. <laughs> ah, we can fix it with some uh, wood glue or something. Would be okay. Let's uh, try the other versions. The Anzani one and the Rest in Peace one. Now oh, let's try to start up this uh, Anzani uh, Blario 11. And uh, this one has uh, 35 horsepower. So it's uh, not that many, but uh, we'll see if we can uh, get in the air and uh, maybe try to land. As you can see the cockpit layout is a little bit different than the GNOME uh, rotary Omega engine. So throttle 50%, magneto is on. Right, so fuel open. Let's do this. And there we go. Let's remove our brakes like this and apply. Full power. Let's go. Oh, this is the slowest takeoff I, I've ever done. Let's try again. Full throttle. Here we go.
really scary, man. Just above the treetops. Here we are again, rescued from the treetops. This is the Blario 11 Anzani Rip Edition. Rest in peace. So this is the yeah most realistic model and uh, the hardest one to fly. They are very difficult to fly, but uh, this should be uh, hell. So uh, let's uh, start the engine and try to uh, take off. Magneto, right. Let's try again. Sounds good. Already rolling. Well, let's hope for the best. Out of runway, let's take off. It's very difficult to fly one line. Need a lot of rudder to correct. So you fly at, at stall speed. Wow, it's very difficult. Gain some speed. Try to turn, but uh, try to make a left turn. So far, so good.
very difficult to gain altitude. And they, they say you have to uh, relearn how to fly. Flies more than a butterfly than an aircraft. And I think they're right. Now let's try to land in the field on our left side. Well, almost. Almost in three wheels. Yeah, there we are. Stop. throw our wooden bricks in front of our wheels. Nah, that doesn't work. We're almost uh, almost at the end of the hill, I think. Alright, there we are. Now let me show you the different deliveries. This is the Wing 42 factory delivery. Simulation company. And this is the Luftwaffe version. Looks really cool, I think. Looks a little bit like a Fokker Eindecker. This is the the Swiss Luftwaffe, the Swiss Air Force, also classic. Well, now let's check out the Italian Air Force. Yes, Italian Air Force. Look at it. Italian flag on the wing. I believe they, this Air Force, this Luftwaffe, Swiss Air Force, uh, French Air Force, they, they used this uh, Lario uh, also during uh, World War One for a reconnaissance uh, task and stuff. Now we have seen all the variations and liveries and I must say this is truly a beautiful plane. 
brings back the adventure of flying in Microsoft Flight Simulator. It's also uh, yeah, complete with a lot of uh, matching documentation, uh, photos uh, with the atmosphere of the uh, yeah, beginning of aviation. So uh, yeah, hope to see you again on the next flight and uh, see you soon.